Okay, so we are continuing on with special equations. Last time we solved special equations that had fractions, and today we're doing special equations that have radicals. Last time we used decimals to cheat, but this time we're going to try to do it all by hand and not have to look it up in decimals. I've changed the problems, a lot of the problems from the workbook, because these problems in the workbook are a little bit too extra. So if you're a distance learner, make sure that you change these as we go. Let's see if we can fill in these blanks. To solve a radical equation, isolate, isolate the radical on one side of the equation. Meaning, you want to try to get it so that the root is all by itself. So you have the root minus one. You want to get rid of that minus one so it's just the radical and what's underneath it on one side. Okay, then you want to, oh, so maybe we can do that first problem. Should we do that first problem? Okay, don't. Then you raise both sides of the equation to the exponent that matches the index of the radical. Holy moly. Then you solve. Then it'll be a regular equation. So without doing a problem, those steps probably just sound like gibberish. But once we do a problem, I think you'll feel really good about it. So first step is we have to make sure that the radical is isolated. So I changed the first problem to root 24x equals 12. So you change it to that problem as well. And this problem already has the radical isolated. We're not adding or subtracting anything to the radical, and we're not dividing the radical by anything. So that first step is done. The second step says to uh, raise each side to the exponent that matches the radical. So I'm going to put parentheses around each side of the equation. So put parentheses around that radical and put parentheses around the 12. Because what we have to do here is square or raise each side to the power of two. So you don't have to write this down, let me just show you. We used to see radicals that looked like this, that would have a little 3 here or a little 4. If it doesn't have anything like this guy, that means he's a 2. It's just a square root. This would be a cube root. So if no number is there, that means that it's a 2. When we square this side, the radical goes away because the square... So this and this are inverses. The opposite of taking the square root is squaring the number. So when we do that, the radical goes away, and what we're left with on the left-hand side is 24x. So we're squaring it to get that radical to disappear. Then we just do 12 squared. So that's 12 times 12. What's that guy? 144. Now we see, if, is there anything that we need to add or subtract? And the answer is no. We would only add or subtract if we saw a plus, like 5 here, or a minus 5 here. So the next question would be, do we multiply or divide? And we're going to divide both sides by 24. We want to get this x all alone. And in order to do that, we have to do the opposite of what is happening. So we're doing 24 times x 
which means we got to divide it off. So I don't know what that divides to. Six. So the solution to that radical equation is x equals six. If you plug a six into, into this side of the equation, it will equal 12. You're hanging on, you're hanging in. Okay, next one is very similar. These radicals are isolated. So we have the radical on one side and everything is underneath the radical. So we can skip number one and go straight to number two, which is raising both sides of the equation to the power that will get rid of the radical. In this case, it's two again. Whenever we don't see a number here next to the radical, it's always a two. When we do that, the radicals just disappear. So this now changes to 5x plus 11 equals 3x minus 27. So now the radical is gone, and we can solve this equation just like we did last time. So remember, I like to move my letters to the left. So to do that, I would subtract 3x, and I like to move my numbers to the right. So to do that, I would also subtract 11. So now I'm focusing on this. 5x subtract 3x is 2x. This 11 I moved over, so he's not there anymore. This 3 I moved over, so they're not there. This leaves negative 27 and negative 11. That goes to negative what? 38. Then our last step, this is often our last step, is to divide. We're going to divide both sides by 2. So for this one, x equals negative, what are you guys thinking? 19. So now number 3 looks exactly like number 2. It just has different numbers. So I want you guys to try to solve number 3 without me. Go. I'm going to walk around and I'm going to help you if you need to be having help. Ten. Five. Three. Okay, so we're going to square both sides. And that's just going to turn into 2x plus 9 equals x plus 16. I'm going to move this x to the left by subtracting it. I'm going to move this plus 9 to the right 
by subtracting it. So on the left hand side, that's going to leave me with x, and on the right hand side, 7. So that one was an easier one. That one was just x equals 7. How'd you guys do? Great. Okay, the pattern continues. So now I've adjusted number four. He's similar to number one, except for this time we have 3x subtract a number. So we have our variable subtract a number. We're going to do this exactly the same as all the other ones. So we're going to do parentheses around each side. And then we are going to square. Now this one is going to try to trick you because on the left hand side, radical goes away and you get 3x minus 8. But on the right hand side, when you go to square this, you have to remember that a negative times a negative is positive 25. If you don't put your parentheses in, so let me show you what happens if you don't use parentheses. If you don't put those parentheses in, your calculator is going to give you the wrong answer. So don't forget your parentheses. Okay, now this is what I like to call a girlfriend equation because x is the x is the star of the show. He's having a birthday party and his friends there and his girlfriend is there. Who's the girlfriend? What number do you think is the girlfriend? Well, she ain't even with the x. This can't be the girlfriend. 8. Oh, it's the x. No, x, x is the dude. Three is the girlfriend. How do you know? Because they're touching. They're together, Cheyenne. These guys are girlfriend, boyfriend. This guy's the friend. This guy didn't even get invited to the party. Sad day. So it's getting late. Mom's kicking everybody out. She says, people got to start going home. Who are you hoping will go home first? The eight. You're like, friend, I need you to leave. I got I to gotta have some alone time with my lady. So we got to get rid of this eight first. So he's going to leave. He's going to add out of there. Okay. And what we have left is three and X. Now they're, they're partying alone. And on the right hand side, we got 33. Then mom realizes that nobody's there but the girlfriend and she says, time to go, ho. Just kidding, <laughs> don't tell your parents I said that. I'm recording, sad day. So how do we get rid of this three? Divide. And now X is all alone. So x is 11. Girlfriend equations are my favorite ones. Makes sense though, right? Touching, not touching. You got to go first. This is the creeper. He's just creeping on the party. Okay, let's see what we got coming up next. Is that the same problem? Yep. We just did this one. Yeah, we just did number five. Silly teacher. Okay, you guys try number six. Okay. Come around and visit and see what you're doing.
Miss it. Dang it. Did I get that right? Yeah, he's an ugly answer. Okay, let's check let's check this guy out because he ends up having an ugly answer. So we're gonna square both sides, but I think you guys are realizing at this point that when it looks like this, it just basically goes away. So and by it I mean the radical. So we have seven x minus three equals 2x plus 16. We get the 2x to the left. We subtract him. We get the minus 3 to the right by adding him. Because you got to do the opposite of what you see. So 7x minus 2x is 5x. 16 plus 3 is 19. Oh, shoot. So now 5's got to go. But when we divide her, she doesn't divide nicely. Because she's probably a hoe, too. <laughs> just saying. So we're just going to leave that as 19.5. If you wanted to write it as 4, 3.8, you could. Either way. I think there's one on your homework or on your quiz that's a fraction, but it's multiple choice. So you'll know, I think you'll know what to do. You're okay on that one? Yeah. Okay, let's try one that's slightly different. Let's write it in ourselves. So let's put it where five was. We're almost done. You guys hang in there. Let's look at a cube root this time. Let's put in this cube root. Let's go 2x minus 7. Let's put on this side 3. Okay, well, it starts the same. Parentheses on both sides. But instead of having a 2 here, what should we have? A three. So most of the time it's going to be a two. But then one or two times on your quiz, you're going to see a little three here, and that means raise it to the power of three. So on our left-hand side, the radical goes away, 2x minus 7. But on the right-hand side, we have 3 times 3 times 3. What's that guy? I don't know. No, is 9 times 3, 27. And now we have a girlfriend equation. Who's going home first? Which one's that? 7. How do we get rid of her or it? Plus 7. He's going to add out. So 2x and 34. Now we got to get rid of 2. So we divide her off. And x equals how many? 17. So every now and then you're going to get one that requires you to q. Okay, should we try just one more? One more, you think? No. Why not? Are, you don't think we need to try either of these? You feel like you want to try your quiz? Okay, you, are you sure? Okay, I'm going to trust you. Wait, what are those ones? Okay, which one do you want to do, Raul? Which one do you want to do? He's not an orphan. This guy? Okay, so this guy doesn't have a number here. So we're going to put parentheses around both sides. And to get rid of that radical, we're going to square it. 
And the reason we put a two is because that's, that's how you get rid of this root. If there's no number here, your power is always a two. So when you square this, the radical just goes away. So on the left-hand side, you have 3x minus 2. But on the right-hand side, you have to do 5 squared. So 5 squared is 25. And now x is having a party, and 3 is his girlfriend because they're touching, and negative 2 is his friend because they're not touching. And we got somebody's got to go home, so we're going to send the friend home first because we want to spend alone time with our lady friend. So how are we getting rid of that minus 2? Add 2. And then mom says she's got to go because she's a... Anyone? No. Then what? Once we have 3x equals 27, we divide each side by 3, and that gives us x is 9. So remember, and Raul, I'll leave these notes up for you so that you can look at them. I'm going to flip these. Remember, if there's a radical on both sides, like number three, it turns into what we did last time, where you move letters to the left and numbers to the right. Otherwise, you're probably getting one that looks like a girlfriend equation, like this one. You're good on that? Or at least you're going to see if you're good on that? Yeah? Okay. So you're doing six, two... Let me stop this recording and then